Ok. What's going on, everybody? My name is Mang. Welcome back to Mang Plays the Best Games of All Time. Here we are with a game that you probably recognize The Legend of Zelda on the NES. Now, this was originally released on the Famicom Disk System uh, in 1986, uh, which is where it's placed on this list. Uh, the NES version was released a year later in 87. That's the version we're playing, so we're cheating a little and jumping out of time, but um, I don't think there's that many differences between the two versions. Uh, so I think we're okay. Now this is going to be... First of all, I apologize if you're a massive fan of this game, because I'm not going to say that many nice things about it. Um, I've already done a Let's Play of this game years, years, years back. Back on Game Anyone I did it. Um, I was sick at the time, and I decided to just play through Legend of Zelda for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and I recorded it, and then after I got better, uh, I recorded a voiceover. Just, like, talking about my playthrough and all that. And I was not entirely pleased with it. Uh, the game, I mean. I had never played it before, uh, so this would have been when I was, like... 23 or so? Something like that. 22? Probably 22. Um... Yeah, so, let me just say right off the bat that it is obviously one of the most important and influential games around. Um, I mean, it pretty much you know, set the stage for action adventure games. I mean... Countless things are, are inspired by The Legend of Zelda. So, certainly one of the most influential games of all time. Not debating that. What I am debating is whether it's one of the best games of all time. And I just cannot honestly say that it is. It's hard to say. I mean, we go, we've gone over this however many times now. What exactly it means to be the best? You can't really go by genre because some genres are way more niche than others. Um, you can't really go by like accessibility or um, the idea of just can anyone play it and it's good, you know? Because there's so many games that are really complex and intricate and, and hard to break into, but they are incredible games. Um, like, um... Uh, like what? Like, um, I don't know. I mean, if we look later down the list, you're gonna have stuff like... Um... Just trying to pluck something... I don't know, like, Baldur's Gate 2 is on the list, and I consider it one of the best games of all time, but that's not a game that any Tom, Dick, and Harry or Tom, Dick, and Harry's grandma or whatever is going to play. But there are games on the list that I have said are the best, one of the best, because anyone's grandma could play it. So, I, you know, it's, it's a difficult metric. That doesn't go for everything. It, I don't think it's an easily definable trait to be one of the best games of all time. The only way that I can describe it, for me personally, is does it hold up? Is it something that, in my brief time playing it, in some sense, do I have fun? Do I enjoy it? You know? Um, would I want to keep playing it in any sense? And... Personally, I don't think the original Legend of Zelda holds up. Because it has been outclassed by too many other games, even in its own series. I mean, there are just so many uh, Zelda games that are better than this one. 
In fact, and it's a very controversial opinion, but I have said that I enjoyed Zelda 2 more than the original. Because I just enjoyed, like, the combat more. Um, that's not a popular opinion, I don't think, but... Um, yeah. I mean, let's just start playing. We're not going to get anywhere, but maybe we can get into a dungeon, if I even remember how. It's such a fucking, like, obtuse game to get, like, to decipher and figure out where the fuck to go. I'm trying to do this... Fuck. I'm trying to do this without a... guide of any kind. Just... requires so much time and effort. So, I mean, yeah, we all know to go in here and to get the sword. I mean, that's the basics. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. But then you're just set loose in this world. And you have uh, your sword. It shoots if you have full health. You pick up rubies. Rupees. You kill enemies and you can buy stuff down the road with your rupees. And, I mean, yeah, this is the prototypical uh, action-adventure game. Some have said it's an action RPG, but even Miyamoto has said it's not an RPG in any way. And now I'm almost dead, so that's delightful. And then you get the, the fucking beeping sound forever. I hated that shit. There we go. And here you can buy stuff. You can buy a shield, a key, a candle. We don't have any money. And uh, it's noted as being one of as being the first game on a hom home console to have battery backup saving. So you can actually save your game on the cartridge. That had never existed before this. Because, I mean, there wasn't... There weren't many games that really needed saving, in any sense. Uh, but it's sort of a laughable thing from someone that's a fan of, like... There was a fan of home computers at the time. Because, I mean, we were saving games for years. I say we were. I, I was not involved at this time. But people uh, with home computers have been saving games for years by this point. I mean, you could save in Wizardry in 1981. So... Uh, that fact is not really, uh, that exciting to, to anyone that had been into gaming on computers. And it's just, yeah, it's rudimentary. I think... I mean, there are Flash games better than this, and I've said that a few times, but I think if that ho if that is true, if that's a true statement about a game, I don't know how you can really consider it to be one of the best. Again, I'm not... I'm not dunking on its influential status or anything like that. But this is not a list of the most influential games. And I looked up before I started recording, and I was like, I want to see what people are saying. Like, I looked up, does Legend of Zelda hold up? Uh, is The Legend of Zelda, like, one of the best games? Blah, blah, blah. And all you really get are, like, fanboys. I mean, that's the only one that's really going to weigh in on this. Because it's tough to find people that care that have not played Legend of Zelda before. A fresh face that has never played the game before weighing in. But, like... 
the NES Classic came out a while back, if you recall. And... My sister... Actually, I think I bought it, and I gave it to my sister. <sighs> um, and she was playing a bunch of games on it with her youngest kid. Who was like... I don't know... Three at the time, or something like that. Three or four. They were not playing Legend of Zelda, you know. They were playing Super Mario Brothers and, and similar things to that, like platformers and stuff. I can't really think of any kid that would have the wherewithal and the patience to actually play through this game. And honestly, why would they? They have no allegiance to this game. And frankly, they're not going to gain anything by playing this compared to playing Link to the Past or Minish Cap or um, other good 2D... Link Between Worlds or the new Link's Awakening, you know? And I'm not talking about graphics standpoint or anything like that. I mean, graphics sound are fine, if not repetitive. But just from a gameplay perspective, it's unnecessarily cruel and unnecessarily obfuscated compared to later titles. In a series that's kind of always been a little obfuscated. And frankly, I think the only game, like, my nephews... The only Zelda game I think my nephews have really played is Breath of the Wild. So, the only way new people are ever going to be playing, like, new... <laughs> new people on the planet, I mean. Uh, the only way new people on the planet are ever going to play the original Legend of Zelda is if they either have, like, an older family member that just forces them to play it. Or somehow inspires them to play it. Or out of just some sort of morbid curiosity, which, I, you know, I went through that. Yeah, I have no idea how to get even to, into the first dungeon. And this is what you'll be doing. If you don't know what to do. You're just gonna wander around for days until you get sick of it. But, I mean, I've played through the whole game. And it doesn't get much better. I don't know. Maybe I'm just bitter. I mean, I'll, I'll freely admit that Legend of Zelda is a series I don't have much interest in. Um... I pretty much only I would ever care to play Link to the Past or Breath of the Wild. Oh, we got a bomb. Can I go back? I think there's a dungeon... Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, yeah, so for me personally, I would rather play, like, Wizardry 1 than this. I mean, if I want, like, some old-school adventure kind of stuff, Wizardry is far more appealing to me. So, I mean, that's the whole thing with the list. I can't argue, I can't argue that these are not games that are considered the best. Because they are. I mean, I, they're on the list. <laughs> they're on, if they're on this list, 
a number of people consider them to be among the best games of all time. All I can argue is that if I think it's one of the best games of all time. And I would say for Legend of Zelda, it's a big no. Sorry if that upsets you, but that's my opinion. Um, I'm sure some of you would have said that Mule is not one of the best games of all time, but it is. Uh, <laughs> all right, so there you have it. Very important title, very influential title, but, uh, no, I don't think it holds up. I don't think it holds up as well as Super Mario Brothers. I really don't. But all right. Plenty more NES games on the way. Do not fret. Maybe one of them. Maybe one of them will be uh, good enough. But for now, my name is Mang. This has been Mang Plays the Best Games of All Time with The Legend of Zelda. And I'll see you fine folks next time.